Uh, unlock legacy attitudes. I I'm gonna see what those are in a minute, though. We'll do that as a as a finisher conclusion thing. Because uh, this has been a long road. And we did it. Lazarus Project on hardest difficulty. Actually, we made it like halfway through Silver, so it wasn't not nearly as bad as I thought it was. These are actually a nice challenge, actually. I actually really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with that. It was great. I, I honestly, I thought it would not last that long. That's why, like, when you saw me doing the stuff for it, it was like, um, better, I'll just load one of these auto, like, this one of these saves over here. Just somewhere in the middle of my campaign. I, I, I thought it was great, actually. That was worthwhile. I thought it was just something, like, minor bonus kind of thing, because apparently it was, like, a free thing. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, it actually ended up being better than I thought it would. I mean, it was a bit predictable and a bit, like, kind of drawn out, but it's still kind of fun, especially that last one was really... I found it to be actually one of the most challenging things that I've had to do. Um, I mean, minus the fact that I'll probably replay, be replaying this on stream on uh, the hardest difficulty, because now I actually know how the Reapers work. I, it, I, it's sad that it took me until this long to figure that out, but, you know... Is super sad. So let's go see what the legacy things are. So, um, there we go. Customize character info. So let's go see what these are. Uh, from Canada land. Attitude intense. Long have my kind struggled to fend off the elders' <laughs> children. Those who have pursued us. That's me. Our what a bench press. 10,000 pounds. Cocky. Or maybe this. Yeah, I'll rip on the shit of you. Or suspicious. <laughs> there are pyros around. My, this is my pyro face. It's mug. Maybe this too. Dude, these are great actually. I like these a lot. <laughs> Holy fuck. And let's go. Uh, those are great though. Let's put on, let's do on someone else, like, uh, so, like another, another favorite person. Where's, uh, Bluefin or you are? There you go, I'll give them to, I'll, give, I'll show, I'll show you again on her. Uh, happy go lucky, so there's intense. Uh, no, it's angry. Dude, angry is great. I like this one. <laughs> I want all my soldiers to have that. Cocky. Suspicious. Smug. Let's go. Dude, I, I, want, I, want to, I want to see her do the, the thing in, in uh, when she's extra granite. And I think we got some more body armors, if I recall. That angry thing is the best. Experimental sharpshooter power armor. So that's, this is one of the new ones we got. Uh, these aren't any new though. Experimental ranger power armor. Oh, everybody gets their own, I see. Well, we'll look at everybody's, because you know, might as well. Yeah, they, they look basically the same. And I already had the... Oh, improvised. No, that's 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 not new. It's all about the experimental power armor. Oh, we already saw a sharpshooter. Do you like the Templars get anything? No, it's all the same ones. They're kind of cool to look at, though. Yeah, these, these aren't super special. And I think there was a thing with the guns where you could we, we could have the old old school ones. I don't know who was the one who got it. Our augmented shotgun? That's probably one of them. I'm sure that's, that's not something we got normally. Magnetic rifle is also a new one. That's That's the old school stuff as well. Uh, and I think Sharpshooter had a bunch of stuff. E yeah, it's the Goss Rifle. Yeah, this is- well, no, no, it's not the Goss, sorry. Oh, well, Energy AMR I know is new. It's ju they're just skins, by the way. I could sworn there was one for the Sniper. Maybe there wasn't. Make Pistol Pistol. Energy Pistol. There you go. Yeah, so some so it is. I think, I think they're just reskins, but they're for your current tier, maybe? I don't know, that's just my guess. 
I didn't, I didn't quite read into it at all. And then the uh, specialist armor. Dude, it's so bulky too. I mean, what can what what things can you put on it too? I'm just wondering. Uh, so now it doesn't look like they give you the option to change much on it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let me let me I can quit. I can actually see what else they they unlocked for you. Just just because it tells you in every single thing. I think I think that's basically most of it. I think the character things are the best though. Uh, this one is... actually doesn't even tell me what we unlocked. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you. Shit, it told me at the end of the campaign, but you think I was paying attention? Oh, I, I mean, I, I've done this over like the span of two weeks, so I, I don't remember. But still, it was kind of fun. It was, it was, it was really great, though. I had, I had a lot of fun with that. I want to I put someone in with Angry. I want to see Bluefin, like, fucking smashing the floor. Just droid it out, ready to go kill some uh, sectopods or shit and shit, you know? That'll be great. I just, I don't, I want to see how it looks. That, that's, like, my favorite one, I, I say. I kind of regret not having that. But like I said, I'll probably bring this up on the stream. Alright. Go away, Maxwell. Actually, no, Maxwell's a perfect candidate for one of these. He can be, uh... <laughs> Suspicious. Someone here has a PC. Cocky. I have my phone. I don't give a fuck. Alright. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, go away, Ken. Uh, where is... Luther, there we go. Customize. Angry. There's holy shit. Okay, one second. But front of the line. <laughs> holy fucking shit, though. With that, with that power armor, and everything. It looks, it looks lovely. Wonder, do you get any like cosmetics, like hats or anything? I wonder. We should, we should actually just, you know, take a peek at that. So is this, uh, actually, experimental power armor is different from field plate. Because the field plate is what you get. Enhanced field plate and improvised armor. Oh no, Kevlar is what they got normally. What the hell, why do you look like this now? Why are you like changing appearances on us? Yeah, so the so yeah, it's different kinds of armor, never mind. They're, one of them wasn't there. I was I was kinda right. Because I get like three basic ones, right? So let's uh let's kinda look at your head props. Uh it's just Reaper stuff, bandana. I don't think these are, I think, soccer helmet. I don't think these are particularly new. They're ridiculous hats. These ones are the dumb ones I put on mine. And the B ones are also like random mod ones. Yeah, these are all the random mods ones I have. Oh, these, these look kind of new. These ones right here. I don't think I've seen these. These are, I think, definitely new. Maybe maybe some of these aren't new. A comic helmet with glasses. Uh, yeah, I never seen these before. So we got these as well as a part of this. Look at this shit. Well, I would have maybe not have to install mods to give my, me some more cosmetics because I kind of ran out of ideas. Space helmet. Pretty great though. Just fucking love like just fucking like. Get to the truck. Get to the Sky Ranger. Okay, kind of shit, that's fucking great. Alright. Well, uh, with that conclusion, I'll talk a little bit more about that stuff. Um, so yeah, obviously the, the final campaign is what I had the most difficulty with. So that was not as forgiving. So when I made mistakes in the other ones, it would be kind of like, okay, we'll give you a little bit of a chance. But the, the last one was a little bit less forgiving, so it was clearly the most difficult one. Because 
particularly two of the missions, I got really fucking just stomped on. Um, and then the, the, the yeah, the one that I kind of sk skipped on my second run, well, I, like, I kind of just ran past everything because I'm like, hey, I can do that. And then I kind of decided not to do that anymore after that. Apparently 28 Centrals Archives. So, I like these. These are actually really great. These are these are wonderful. And yeah, I did them on the highest difficulty as well. It doesn't let you go any f up uh, higher than that. I'm, I'm not sure why that is, necessarily. Maybe it's because it's not really true to the Iron Man kind of spirit. So they're like, yeah, just keep it at that. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But... I think it's cool. I think the stuff you get from it is cool. And as I said, as far as I know, I didn't pay for this. As far as I know, it was... I originally thought someone gifted it to me, because I never paid money for it. But when I looked it up, it was actually... I think it came with um, War of the Chosen, I think. Um, it was just a bonus that they did if you got it at a certain time. Or maybe it's just a part of War of the Chosen. I'm not sure. Because when I looked it up after, I think that's what it was. So uh, It was pretty cool, though. So anyways... Um, so we're done with um, <laughs> we're done with XCOM games for until probably three, but as I said, I, I stream this stuff. So if you want to see it there, uh, you just go just whatever Twitch or whatever or wherever you want to go. Because I'm sure I'm sure like this is obviously a series I, I, I like a lot. Um, I have the character pool still going. I'm gonna keep this uh, consistent. So uh, yeah, we're, we're I'm gonna I'm gonna visit this again on stream, but it'll probably be. No long war, because every time I try long war, I never finish it. It's too long. <laughs> it's really what it is. So, this is this is great though. I, I I hope they go for number three. I really do. I would I would like to see number three for this or, or some more stuff for that too. It's just it's a good treat. It's great. So, I think what I'm gonna do for now is I I didn't use it for this time, and I probably could have used the UFO defense soundtrack but i think i'm gonna have that on for now on because i have that i i just thought it wouldn't fit the theme of the the story stuff i thought it would maybe ruin the immersion i don't know I, I honestly quite honestly i now think i was wrong on that i probably should have had it on the whole time but you know that's just me so with that being said uh finally done with xcom 2 shit how long has it been since i've started it like i started in like august and then it's gone all the way to well, I had a hiatus in the middle, but it's basically gone to like middle of February. I started up again in Christmas, so literally I've been at this for this one in particular, my resuming run for a month and a half. So I apologize to anyone, I didn't have any series running parallel to this, so uh, this is all that anyone got. So I'm sure people have been waiting for me to move on to something else, so I'm moving on to something else now. I'm not going to touch tactical shooters for a little bit, so or so it's not tactical shooter, tactical turn-based. What is this exactly count as? I don't even know. Turn-based strategy game? Yeah, that's probably the closest thing. That's what I would call it. Anyways, all right. I had I had a blast doing it. It was great. This this entire game's great. So as I said, I'm probably gonna visit this pretty often. So uh, just playing it again just made me love it more. I really want to try the new like now that I actually understand how the stalkers work. I swear to God that that description was not indicative of what they do. And actually, for that matter. Let's go to one of these autosaves, and I'm gonna look at what they do in the description and what they have, because I swear to you, I read it, and I read it as they have a consistent 50% all the time. What can I do for you, Commander? That's what, that's what I saw it as. Oh, weapon upgrade. Oh, she had a weapon upgrade? I probably used it during my thing, but I didn't realize that she had that at some point. The fuck? This is early on in the campaign, that's why. Uh, let's go somewhere late in the campaign. Fuck, upgrade reminder. I removed that mod because I didn't need it, and then... <laughs> and then it does this every time I try and load anything. Man, this has been a long, like, goodbye, hasn't it? It's good, mostly because I know I'm not going to be probably visiting it on YouTube for quite a while. Even though I loved it so much, it was just so good to... As that XCOM 3, man. We'll be back. We will be watching, etc. It's so good. Alright, let's have a look at that. Because I'm going to say that was seriously a problem with, like, I could not... So, I think the one that did it... You go to Soldier Abilities. Um... 
It was Silent Killer. I'll be the first to admit, I may have underestimated you, Commander. A Reaper that only does. Sure Fuck, the deal. first line says what it does. After putting down one of the elders chosen permanently, God. you've shown that you're in this fight till the end. Shut up, Riker. I'm mad right now. So. Yeah, it was the first line that tells you, and Silent Killer does not prevent the break, uh, the chance to break out of Shadow from recurring after kills. Like Reaper that only deals killing blows can remain in Shadow indefinitely, and any previously accumulated reveal chance will still impact the chance to break out a Shadow after a kill. So, yeah. And then what's this one say? Advanced form of concealment. Um... Yeah, chance to be revealed if they perform more actions. So, I really hate when classes like this is the problem that they had in 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 the Rex, XCOM uh, Enemy Unknown, where they did the same mistake, where basically the entire class hinged upon one ability that they have, sort of a thing. Because this this person was significant uh, significantly less useful, because you always want to keep them in shadow, so you're like, fuck, I'm not gonna use them to kill anything. But if you had this one ability you got at Lieutenant, then it, you can use them to, to get finishing kills. You, you can use them for finishers, and I'm really mad about that, because I think I read the, the bottom there, which is, kills with vector rifle do, do not increase chance to break out of shadow, and as far as I knew, it was always 50% on the first kill, and then 80% on the second kill. So I thought, I took that as, it stays at 50%, you know, and so you can get maybe chain a couple kills, kind of like it does with, um, uh, whatever the Overwatch one is for specialists, you know, where they can keep getting kills kind of thing. That's that's what I assumed it was. Because it's, it's good, but not like... But this makes it really good if you can just keep using them for finishing shots because that means they're not fucking worthless. Because that's, that's what I did. I kept bringing them on missions and, and then I'm like, I'm never using them to kill anything. So it's like, you know, one useless soldier, right? Because you don't want to break them out of shadow too many times. Like, cause you only get like two shadows, so you like you open up a one pod. It's like, well, fuck that. So now I'm sad, and now I want to play the game again, knowing this in mind to, and using this, cause now that, that this entire class makes a lot more sense. But you know, uh, whatever. Fuck me, am I right? Better. It's all good. It's all good. We we won. We won, even if it's not to necessarily the approval of uh, my Discord friends. But you know. Just kidding, I don't care what they think, especially Scrub Wave. All they do is make fun of me. All they do is make fun of me, but I try my best. Oh, alright guys, I'm done. It was fun, it was a good long ride, but finally, peacing out. And remember, we will be watching.